Now my slides here. So then I will start. I would like to start my presentation. And then it's great honor for me to speak today. I'm a graduate student at Tsukuba University in Japan. My major field of study is developmental dyslexia in Japanese. Uh, today, I would like to talk about application of the double deficit hypothesis to two Japanese writing systems, hiragana and kanji. And I'm sorry, the title is a little bit different from the first slide. And next. For a long time, many researchers believe the causes of underlying developmental dyslexia is only phonological awareness deficit hypothesis. However, this hypothesis has not explained all aspects of reading disabilities. Then, in 1999, and Wolf and Bowers uh, proposed alternative hypothesis, double deficit hypothesis. They explained that the naming speed deficit is another core deficit of this lecture, and double deficit hypothesis showed the most severe reading difficulty. And this double deficit hypothesis has very important, two very important points. First, uh, divide into three deficit group. And another point uh, is severity. The double deficit group shows the most severity on reading. Since 1999, since 1999, and many researchers try to research uh, another language, and then they could divide into three deficit group. However, uh, from the viewpoint of severity. Double deficit group has not always shown the most severe reading difficulty in other Western languages. And Tropa in Finland stated the degree of transparency is a written writing system affects the level of dyslexia in Latin and Greek languages. However, uh, it is still controversy. This table is schematic of a hypothesis of granularity and transparency uh, reported by Weidel and Butterworth in 1999. The horizontal axis represents the transparency of the language, the language. The vertical axis present, represents the minimum unit of sound represented by character or letters. The Japanese writing system consists of two qualitatively different scripts, namely logographic and morphographic kanji and syllabic kana. Kana has almost one-to-one -one correspondence between character and sound in contrast to kanji. Kanji is opaque and visually complex. For example, uh, first please see upper side picture. What's this? Yes, I hear star, yes, star. In Japanese, we call hoshi. Oh, thank you, good pronunciation. And if, if I write in Japanese hiragana, like this, ho, shi. In katakana, like this, ho, shi. In kanji, like this, ho, shi. And please see bottom side, what's this? Yes, yes, these are books. Uh, we call hon in Japanese. Like this, in hiragana, ho, mm. katakana, ho, mm. like this. In kanji, like this. Hoshi and hon, they have the uh, same sound. They start from the same sound. 
So hiragana, katakana, one-to-one -one correspondence. So uh, these words start from exactly the same character. However, kanji is totally different. And hiragana and katakana, we call these character kana. And the next. In the present study, we investigated how the writing system affects a double deficit group, uh, how, sorry, the double deficit hypothesis using kana and kanji. Purpose of this study, question one, whether the Japanese children who have reading difficulty could be divided into three groups based on double deficit hypothesis. Question two, whether the double deficit group shows the most severity in reading difficulty in hiragana and or kanji. The participants, all participants are first total number the participants were 564 children in elementary school. All children came from local public school, and they speak Japanese as their first language. And they have take uh, three kind of test. First, nonverbal intelligence test, and second, cognitive ability, and reading ability in hiragana and kanji. And the children who scored the minus 1.5 SD below average, from average about number of intelligence, uh, we existence the, their data from uh, uh, from analysis. Then uh, we examine about 114 children about double deficit hypothesis in a cross-sectional data set of uh, data set children from grade one to six. These are detail of test. First, as nonverbal intelligence test, we used Raven's colored progressive matrices test, this one, and next, Vocabulary test, we used standardized comprehension test of abstract words, and this one. And uh, a therapist asked to children, which one is happiness? And children pointed the correct answer. The, this answer is marriage. And I, I think I feel some argument come on here. Amen. Okay, next, visual cognition. Uh, we use Ray Austria's complex figure tests like this. They copy first and then they relight this picture without this picture. And three minutes later, mm, 30 minutes later, they need to relight uh, again without this picture. And as naming speed, I mean automatization test, we used rapid automatized naming test. This one, children have to read uh, number and picture as quickly as possible. As phonological awareness test, we used word and no word repetition in reverse order for 10 words. As uh, reading test in hiragana, we used words, no words, paragraph reading test. And kanji reading test, we used 126 number of kanji words reading. We counted the number of correct answers. The cutoff value was plus minus 1.5 Z score because we changed, uh, we changed the, their score in Z score. And we divided to, into three groups by uh, cognitive ability test. The result, and we found 30, uh, 38 number of children reading difficulty, and nine of them they had hiragana reading difficulty, 
and other 18 children had kanji reading difficulty. And 11 children had hiragana and kanji reading difficulty. <laughs> However, in this study, uh, we focused on uh, transparency of language system. From now on, uh, we will only consider hiragana reading difficulty and the kanji reading difficulty. The answer of question one. Hiragana reading difficulty was divided into three deficit groups based on double deficit group. Double deficit hypothesis, uh, double deficit group, one child. Phonological awareness deficit group, four children. Naming speed deficit, three children. And no deficit based on double deficit group was one child. And kanji. We could not divide into three deficit group. There are no double deficit group. And six children were phonological awareness deficit, one child naming speed deficit, and 11 children shows no deficit, uh, grouped in no deficit based on double deficit group. Let's move on to the answer of question two. Oh, my slides suddenly stop. How to, the answer of question two. We found the double deficit group only on hiragana reading difficulty. We will explain about the result of hiragana reading difficulty. This slide shows the result of reading test in hiragana and kanji. The vertical axis shows z-score, and green bar graph is double deficit group, and blue bar graph is phonological awareness deficit group, and yellow bar graph is naming speed deficit group. In hiragana reading, we considered reading fluency, I mean measured reading time, if they scored high z-score, it means slow leaders. As you can see in the graph, double deficit group has not the most severe reading difficulty among three groups. And kanji reading, we considered reading accuracy. When they scored low z-score, they might have not good kanji reading ability. In this graph, uh, DD group shows the most severe. However, between double deficit group and phonological awareness group, there were no significant difference. And perhaps some of you may be interested in the no deficit group. And then I will explain the detail of the no deficit group based on double deficit group hypothesis. First, the no deficit based on double deficit hypothesis in hiragana reading difficulty children, he did not show any problems with cognitive ability. And the kanji reading difficulties, no deficit based on double deficit group, shows the, they show uh, some cognitive deficit. And one children, one child show visual cognitive deficit, and two children show visual cognitive deficit and small vocabulary size, and two another children show small vocabulary size, and six children uh, shows uh, was no deficit group. According to several previous studies, depending on the language system, uh, different combination of cognitive functions are affecting and vocabulary was only for kanji. As Mary Ann Wolf, uh, she 
uh, the proponent of the double deficit hypothesis, also says the double deficit hypothesis cannot explain everything about this lecture. So we think uh, we have to consider multiple cognitive abilities. To uh, summarize the information I've presented today, question one, whether the Japanese children who have reading difficulty could be divided into three groups based on double deficit hypothesis? Kana reading difficulty, yes. Kanji reading difficulty, no. Uh, however, we could found naming speed deficit group, the, uh, we could found uh, naming speed deficit group, it means the if we increase the participants, uh, maybe we can find double deficit group. So just a problem of combination. Question two, whether the double deficit group shows the most severity in reading difficulty in hiragana or kanji? Answer, kana reading difficulty, no. Kanji reading difficulty, there are no deficit, double deficit group. And our data suggested that the degree of transparency may not interpret the difference of the severity of double deficit group in Japanese speaking children with developmental dyslexia. Thank you for your kind attention.